Hi there, it's Olga. Today's video is a part of a blog hop. The purpose of this blog hop is to support small YouTubers. There are lots of talented people out there who don't have the large audience yet. So if you are looking for new faces and fresh ideas, that's a good place to go. There are also multiple prizes to win at each stop of the hop. All you have to do is to watch and leave your comment. You can find the link to the next stop of the hop in the description of this video. The project I have made for today is a card that transforms into a desktop organizer. It can also hold paper clips, but the coolest thing about it is that it can be folded flat and mailed in an envelope. It's also super quick and easy to make and is suitable for mass production, so let's get started. To create the shape of the card, I'm using a die called Baby Step Block Card by Spellbinders. To create a card, I'll need two of those die cuts. So I'm placing a die onto the patterned paper and uh, I'm running it through the die cut machine. The die will create a template that also has score lines for easy folding. To create a second die cut, I have to flip over my patterned paper to the wrong side and then I'm die cutting it again. The tools and supplies I'm using will be listed on my blog as well as in the description. The reason why I flipped over the paper is that I should have two mirror images to create this card. Now I'm using crease lines to fold the paper, thus creating the tabs. The next step is applying adhesive to the three little square tabs as well as to the one large rectangle tab. You can use any adhesive you prefer. Now I just have to adhere all the flaps one to the other as I'm showing you now and uh, my folding card base is ready. I have also die cut six squares out of the matching pattern paper using this uh, square die that is also the part of the set. Now I'm going to cut out two squares out of black craft foam. They should be a little bit smaller than the paper ones. This is a piece of magnetic sheet. I'm going to cut out four more squares out of it. They should also be a little bit smaller than the paper ones. Next I'm going to trim the two foam squares like I'm showing you now. You will see later what I'm doing it for. I'm also going to set up two breads in the center of uh, the two squares. They only serve for decoration, so this step is totally optional. Now I'm going to use glossy accents to stick the foam shapes uh, behind the squares with the breads. Then I'm going to adhere all the magnetic squares as well. The reason I'm using glossy accents is because it's a super strong adhesive and it works great for a variety of materials, not only for the paper. All there is left to do is to attach all six squares to my card base. They are very easy to align because there are score lines defining each square on a card base. They are not much visible though because uh, the pattern on the paper is very busy. The card is now finished. I have also made an envelope for it using an envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers and a sheet of patterned paper from the same pad so that it matches the card. Now I am taking the card out of the envelope and this is how I'm going to use it. The squares with breads can be used as pockets for things like um, sticky bookmarks and the magnetic squares can be used as paperclip holders. This card is not as sturdy as a plastic organizer, but it can totally hold a couple of pens, pencils and other small things. 
So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and don't forget to leave your comment for a chance to win two 20 pound certificates to Swedish Housecrafts online store and two Catherine Puller inks. Keep on hopping for more inspiration and more prizes to win. The link to the next video is in the description. Good luck!